India is one of the fastest growing countries in the world and the development in the highway sector have played a very crucial role in our nation's economic growth. Today, we have the second largest road network in the world, covering about 63 lakhs kilometers. Today, we carry 86% of passengers and 67% of freight traffic via our road network. We have given special emphasis in connecting the farthest and remotest part of the country, such as northeastern parts of the country through national highways. And we are also working hard on providing all season connectivity to our religious and tourist places. The network of expressways under Bharat Mala program being constructed across the country and will boost connectivity to major economic nodes and reduce the cost and time of travel. Using the PM Gati Shakti National Master Plan, we are also connecting the remaining economic nodes with national highways. This will bring our logistic cost down to single digit from 13% to 14% of GDP at present. The rapid economic growth has led to a sustainable increase in exports. The government's PLI production link incentive scheme is helping global companies to shift their manufacturing bases into India. Our Honorable Prime Minister Modi ji has a dream to make India a $5 trillion economy by 2025. Huge investment in infrastructure, especially roads, will play a major role to achieve this dream of our Honorable PM. The government under the National Monetization Pipeline Plan to monetize assets worth Rs 6 lakh crore so that the funds raised can be utilized to build new infrastructure. Here again, National Highway Authority of India, NHAI, has the largest share of 27% under the National Monetization Pipeline. NHI launched its Infrastructure Investment Trust, INVIT, last year, not only to facilitate monetization of roads, but also to attract foreign and domestic institutional investors to invest in the road sector. So far, NHI INVIT has raised more than rupees 8,000 crores from foreign and Indian institutional investors. Now they are looking to raise additional rupees 2,850 crores, of which rupees 1,500 crore is being raised through issue of non-convertible debentures (NCDs) with a long dated maturity of 24 years. And NCDs can also be called as bonds in popular terms. These invite bonds will be listed on BSE and NAC, providing opportunity to investors to invest and trade as any other popular stock market instrument. Today on Bonds Express, I am thrilled to invite our esteemed guests for the day who are here especially to meet you. It's my honor to welcome Mr. Suresh Goel, MD and CEO at National Highway Infra Investment Managers an alumnus of IM Lucknow with several years of experience in the corporate and asset management sector. He has also served as executive director with McQuarrie Asset Management Singapore. Welcome, sir. And we have Mr. Matthew George with us, who is the CFO at National Highway Infra Management Managers. An astute finance professional with over 28 years of diverse experience, Mr. George currently leads the finance and accounts function of the National Highway Infra Trust. In his earlier role, he, was, he has worked in the capacity of CFO at Indian Private Trust, India's first privately placed infrastructure investment trust. Aaj, aap aur hum, kabhi, sabhi log, ye, ek manate hai, ke, National Highway Network bahut acha ho gaya hai country mein. Aap kahi se kahi bhi ja sakte hai. Aap ko achhi four lane road milegi, uh, general facilities milegi, portfolio jo humare problem hoote de, wo almost solve ho chuke hai. Traffic bahut acha hai. And National Highway Authority of India has done a great job. And if you look at the charts below, so they have consistently grown the network uh, in the country, which is very, very important because when we bonds ki baat karenge, aur jab hum aap se paisa raise kar rahe hai, wo paisa kahan jayega, wo paisa ultimately wapas NHI ke pas mein data hai, so that they can continue to invest more into building new roads. Right? That's why this context is very, very, very important. Aur jaise abhi aapne suna, Mantri ji ne kaha tha ki ये हमारे हाईवेस में क्या ट्रैफिक है जनरली अपने को लगता है कि यार उसमें ट्रैफिक होएगा नहीं होएगा कैसे होएगा करके तो मैं आपसे शेयर करना चाहता हूं कि हमारे जो हाईवेस हैं अक्रॉस द कंट्री दे कैरी 86% पैसेंजर ट्रैफिक जो हमारे कंट्री का टोटल पैसेंजर ट्रैफिक है वो 86% हाईवेस पे ट्रैवल करता है मोर देन मच मच मोर देन रोड रेलवेज एयरलाइंस एटसेट्रा एंड करीब दो तिहाई 67% जो ट्रैफिक है वो फ्रेट जो रोड्स में जाता है 
तो कैसे भी आप देख लीजिए जब तक हिंदुस्तान के 120 130 करोड़ लोग हैं और हमारा कंट्री ग्रो कर रहा है 5-7 परसेंट से तो दोनों चीजें कंटिन्यूसली ग्रो करेंगी और नेशनल हाईवे में जो ट्रैफिक है वो बढ़ता ही जाएगा आपने पढ़ा होगा नेशनल मॉनिटाइजेशन पाइपलाइन के बारे में तो एन एच ने हमको पिछले साल पांच सड़कें दी थी जो आपके स्क्रीन पर है जिनका टोटल लेंथ इज थ्री नाइनटी किलोमीटर जो की पूरे कंट्री में स्प्रेड आउट है एंड उसके लिए हमने 8000 करोड़ रुपया रेस किया था 2000 करोड़ रुपया बैंक लोन लिया था 6000 करोड़ रुपया हमने यूनिट होल्डर से लिया था इस साल हम अभी करीब दो सौ किलोमीटर की सड़कें और पोर्टफोलियो में डाल रहे हैं जो कि पुरानी पांच सड़कों के साथ में सेम ही ट्रस्ट के अंदर आएंगी और टोटल पोर्टफोलियो की लेंथ छह सौ किलोमीटर किलोमीटर हो जाएगा एंड अगर आप देखेंगे तो सारी सड़कें बड़े शहरों के पास में है गोल्डन क्वार्टर पे है मेजर कॉरिडोर्स में है कई सालों से ऑपरेशनल है तो उनमें ट्रैफिक पैटर्न्स काफी सेट है तो जो एक नॉर्मल इश्यूज आते हैं नई सड़क के साथ में या ट्रैफिक आएगा कि नहीं आएगा वो इन सब में प्रॉब्लम नहीं लेफ्ट में अगर आप देखेंगे तो जैसे मंत्री साहब ने भी कहा कि इसको चलाएगा कौन चला कौन रहा है तो मैं आपके सामने हूँ मैथ्यू जी यहाँ पर है तो पूरा जो हमारा इन्वेस्टमेंट मैनेजर है इस जो पूरे बिजनेस को चला रहा है और बॉन्ड्स को भी ऑफर कर रहा है और बाद में मेंटेन करेगा पूरे बिजनेस को वो प्रोफेशनल्स रहेंगे ये गवर्नमेंट ऑलरेडी डिसीजन लिया हुआ है और उसी हिसाब से हमारा बोर्ड भी बनाया गया है तो ये हमारे बोर्ड के बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स हैं आवर चेयरमैन इज मिस्टर श्रीराम जो कि मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर थे स्टेट बैंक ऑफ इंडिया के फिर मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर सीओ बने आईडीबीआई बैंक के सुपर एनुएट बने के बाद में अभी कोई बहुत बड़े 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 बोर्ड में मेंबर है और हमारे चेयरमैन भी हैं उसके बाद है मिस्टर एन पी शर्मा जो कि बहुत ही नोन पर्सन है रोड सेक्टर में मिस्टर प्रदीप सिंह खरोला एक्स आई एस ऑफिसर मिस्टर शैलेंद्र रॉय वो एल एन टी के बोर्ड पर थे पहले मिस्टर घोष ये नॉमिनी है गवर्नमेंट के मिस्टर राजेंद्र कुमार ये मेंबर फाइनेंस है एन एच आई के तो अगर आप देखेंगे पूरे बोर्ड में तो गवर्नमेंट के सिर्फ दो ही नॉमिनी है उसके बाद में जो दूसरे दो नॉमिनी है कविता साहा और ब्रूस के क्रेन दे आर नॉमिनी ऑफ द इन्वेस्टर्स So, हमारे बोर्ड ने दो पोजीशंस इन्वेस्टर्स के लिए भी रखी है क्यों अगर हम आपका पैसा उनका पैसा अगले 25-30 साल के लिए मैनेज करेंगे तो इन्वेस्टर्स को और यूनिट होल्डर्स को दो बोर्ड की पोजीशंस दी गई हैं एंड ऑफ कोर्स मैं भी हूं बोर्ड के ऊपर सो सो दिस इज द समरी ऑफ आर पोर्टफोलियो वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट यू नो वेयर द कैश फ्लो इज गोडो कम विच इज गोडो फीड द बॉन्ड बॉन्ड ऑब्लिगेशन and uh, what we are really pleased is that overall portfolio jo hai wo bahut acha hai next slide please next slide yeah so this is again very very important ke when the bond holders are coming they need to be absolutely sure ke uh, where is the equity coming uh, coming and has the equity already come right so our equity is held uh, if you see in the pie chart is a very distributed uh, pie chart Uh, government or nhi being the sponsor holds 16% uh, and that that is locked in uh, for 3 years and with every further successive fund raise on the unit side uh, nhi would retain 15% then we have very two very large um, uh, global pension funds ontario limited and cpp investments they are the two pension funds from canada they manage the pension schemes of that country and they have invested uh, 25% in round 1 and in the follow on uh, of round 2 also and then we have 10% from sbi balanced advantage fund which has taken 10% and then there are other again institutional entities other uh, sbi companies some provident funds insurance companies etc which own the equity in this company in this round we are looking to raise about 3800 crores and of that 3800 crores the equity is about 1430 crores and what i'm really happy to share with you ke wo 14 30 crores has already been raised um, you know from the unit holders so before the debt money comes in or the bond money comes in that equity money has already been raised and it's in the bank account as we speak invit has been sponsored by nhi which is the authority of the government of india is the owner of largest roads portfolio and as part of monetization will continue to transfer mm -hmm. roads to the invit so we will be coming back into the market to do further fund raising we already have a very large portfolio like i showed you uh, eight roads 6 600 odd kilometers you know this year's revenue is going to be north of 800 crores so so again very very stable business uh, that's why the rating is triple a 
एंड वी हैव टेकन अ वेरी कंजर्वेटिव अप्रोच टू कि कितना हमको डेट लेना चाहिए जस्ट कैन मूविंग थ्रू रोड्स आर वेल लोकेटेड मैनेजमेंट इज प्रोफेशनल ग्रोथ अपॉर्चुनिटीज आर क्वाइट सिग्निफिकेंट एज वी हैव स्पोकन इन द पास्ट एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंटली जो कंसेशन एग्रीमेंट है they are all very robust and structured so as i near that these are the concession agreements only drafted for it these are standard concession agreements standard toll that we pay across in any on any road in the country so there is no favoritism or to say ki ye road mehangi hai aur dusri road sasti ho jayegi wahan se log chale jayenge there is nothing like that it is a standard concession agreement that has been given to us also each ncd would be having a face value of 1000 and this one ncd would be broken into three strips Which are separately tradable would have separate ISIN numbers. So once you buy one NCD, you will have to buy. You will get the three strips together, three ISINs for one NCD. You are free to trade it separately at a later point of time as you wish. So I'll come to come to that later. Now how this is structured is, let's say the first strip is of three hundred uh, rupees three hundred. This strip matures in the thirteenth year. The redemption for the strip starts in the eighth year. Fifty uh, rupees, ninth year fifty, tenth fifty, and so on till thirteenth year fifty when the full first strip gets over. This second strip has a maturity of eighteen years. The redemptions for this would start. Oh, very good. No, no, no. The the redemptions of this would start from the thirteenth year, fourteen, fifteen, fifty rupees each up till the eighteenth year, and the third strip is four hundred rupees, which the re redemption start. In the 18th year and gets fully matured in the 25th year. We come back to this thing. Yeah. So, um, so what? Okay. And um, so this is the base structure of it. Now, these NCDs have been, and so are all our loans have been rated AAA by two rating agencies, Care and India Ratings. Um, the the when an applicant is coming into the scheme, he has to initial the minimum application is 10,000. so what he would be getting is 10 ncds 10 ncds means 30 separate tradable parts tradable instruments if you may say uh just come to the previous one okay this slide no the other one uh, first slide ah uh, yeah so uh, so the issue we are proposing to open on uh, october 17th and we would keep it open uh, though it's just till november 7th but as per ncs regulation the investments is going to be on first come first serve basis so just to give a heads up the allocation what is proposed right now is 25% for retail 25 for hni 25 for corporates and 25 for institutional investors now while we have put an end date closing date of november 7 considering this is on a first come first serve basis and there is substantial in, uh, interest from institutional investors we may be forced to do an early closure with giving a notice of t plus 1 so what i'm trying to say is now let us suppose we get the full investments in one day or two days then with the notice of one day we will be um, uh, request uh, through uh, we'll be requesting that we will be closing this issue earlier you are locking in funds for a 25 at 8% which is very attractive now and india being a growing economy in the long term we do expect that interest rates would come down and at that point of time these instruments would be very right now it is attractive it would be very attractively priced at that point of time so you can see this as an investment for a uh, holding holding to maturity or in case you need money urgently unlike a fixed deposit where there is a prepayment penalty or premature payment penalty you can just trade it in the market trade which ever strip you want sell it off buy it further in the market at any point of time so these are freely tradable and um, uh, okay and freely tradable instruments now just take a step back one more thing we would like to emphasize is in the first round when we acquired the first five projects we had taken a loan of 2000 crores uh the lead bank or from a consortium of banks the lead bank being state bank of india who had given us 1000 crores now um the other banks in the consortium of bank of maharashtra and axis bank so what would happen is among all these banks and the ncd lenders all the securities being shared pari pasu now just to inform how, what will be done with this money now like mr suresh had mentioned we had got 1430 of equity already 
we would be uh, we have also got a bridge loan of 1500 crores from uh, state bank of india and um, uh, and a construction loan like uh, mr suresh was again informing uh, we need about 850 crores for initial improvement works which should start maybe and complete maybe one one and a half years from now for that uh, bank we had already got a sanction from bank of maharashtra at uh, 7.25 but that's separate now coming to this this issuance we have got 1400 from unit investors and we have got we will be raising about 1400 1500 from uh, through this debt issuances what happens or we will take it from the bridge loan both this money that is 1500 plus 1400 will be put into the spv as a loan spv will use this money to pay off nhei once they pay nhei they have the uh, they they can start the collection the spv can start the collections of tolls now using the toll collection the spv would pay routine principal payments interest to the trust principal repayment to the trust and dividends to the trust this money which comes to the trust would be escrowed and the escrow bank is state bank of india after all the lenders are paid that is uh, including the ncd lenders are paid the remaining money will go to the unit holders now, uh, one thing which is to be noted is, and uh, what was pointed out in the previous slide, we do have a whole set of marquee investors in this who, have, who do a lot of due diligence before they've got it. And they do understand that, the, and they do understand this full escrow mechanism. They understand that they will get returns only after the debt holders are paid off. So. Despite all this, they, are, they were ready to take this call and invest. Now, if you see, uh, we have Canadian Pension Fund, Ontario teacher, Teachers, we have National Idea and SBI Group itself has substantial investment. So it is like a backstop. So they are ready to take the secondary risk. There's, they are very confident that on the debt portion, on the loan portion, there's going to be no issue. And despite that, they will get an attractive return whereby they are happy to take the equity risk. So that's it for the comfort of, um, you know, additional comfort in addition to the AAA ratings we have got. One more thing we have to point out is regulatorily, the invit structure per se has some caps which has been put on by the regulator. Um, there is a cap which the regulator has specified that um, invits to the extent possible should borrow only 49% of the enterprise value. They could go more, but there's a whole lot of approvals to be taken. And generally, that is not something which we are aspiring to. We will go by what the regulator said, 49% of less than that. If you see our consolidated borrowing right now is much less. And this should give additional comfort to the uh, NCD investors that their, their uh, investment is perfectly safe. Now coming to liquidity, these are broken up into so much strips and at any point of time, you want to exit, you can trade it freely in the market. And like I mentioned we looked before, there'd be no premature uh, penalties. Uh, as the interest rate declines in the economy, uh, these instruments would trade better also. Definitely the most important question, the next question which investors have there in mind is, if this is such a lucrative instrument, how can I invest into it? Okay. So I'll rush you through with this basic process flow which is available on India Bonds platform where you can invest into. Like uh, Mr. Matthew has already explained, there are four categories of investors in an issue. Category one being the institutional investors, category two, non-institutional investors or the corporates. Category three is HNI high individual, high net worth individuals. And category four is the retail individual investors. So category three and four is basically the individual category of investors. Any amount less than or equal to 10 lakh rupees of investments is categorized as retail individual investors or 10 lakh se upar agar individual investors invest kar rahe hai, to high net worth individual ki category mein aata hai, yani category 3 mein aata hai. For this issue, the bucket allocation is 25% per category of investors. So 25% allocation for institutional hai, 25% non-institutional hai, 25% HNI hai and 25% retail hai. In a sense that if 1500 crores ko divide kiya jai, to 375 crores per bucket mein aara hai, per category of investors ke liye invest karne ke. Uh, yes, next slide. 
So uh, on on India Bonds platform, the process of investing is very very simple and easy. You have to just log into India Bonds website. You have to select public issue section. Within the public issue section, there is an issue of NSI invest. आपको पहला कैटेगरी सिलेक्ट करना है विच कैटेगरी यू फॉल इनटू एज एन इंडिविजुअल इन्वेस्टर यू आर इधर रिटेल और एच एन आई इफ योर टिकट साइज इज लेस देन टेन लैख रुपीज और इक्वल टू टेन लैख रुपीज यू आर रिटेल कैटेगरी यू हैव टू सिलेक्ट अ रिटेल बकेट इफ यू आर इन्वेस्टिंग मोर देन टेन लैख रुपीज यू हैव टू इन्वेस्ट सिलेक्ट द कैटेगरी कैटेगरी थ्री एच एन आई नेक्स्ट लाइक वंस यू हैव सिलेक्टेड इट यू हैव टू सिलेक्ट द सीरीज तो फॉर्चुनेटली फॉर दिस इंस्ट्रूमेंट वी हैव वन सिंगल सीरीज व्हिच इज अवेलेबल within one single series you have all the options of 13 years 18 years and 25 years you have to select the amount which you want to put in and add in your details either you can you have to add your name your pan card details date of birth credentials in terms of your address details and most important dmat details jahan pe aapka bond credit hoga in your dmat account so these bonds are only in dematerialized form they are not in physical form aapko dmat mein hi ye bonds milenge this will be listed in bsc and nsc both these stock exchanges for it, for their liquidity so whether you have an nsdl tp or cdsl you have to select it agar nsdl hai to aapka 8 digit tp id and 8 digit client id hai aur agar cdsl hai to aapka 16 digit ka total client id hai and payment details you have to enter if you are as a retail investor doing an application which is equivalent to or less than 5 lakh rupees you have to select an upi mechanism mode so within upi you have to maintain your upi id you can review the form click on the review form you can see this form which will come in with all the details which you have mentioned your dmat details your uh, upi details your name address everything will be pre populated in the application form you can verify it confirm it and thus your application has been submitted you can download your application form you can print your application form you can forward your application form or you can forward this Uh, uh information to your friends and family members if you want to invite any other of your friends to participate in this app, uh, public issue of ncd so this covers the entire process of putting up an application in the public issue of ncd by nhai invest